Hello everyone. First, let me introduce myself. I am Momoi Chakraborty, a medicine B Pharm student pursuing my studies from NSHM Knowledge Campus presently. Today, I'll be conducting a webinar just to give you guys some tips and tricks to get 650 plus score in NEET 2020. Slide change, please. Okay. So, what are all the things that I'm going to share today is the best key points for an amazing preparation. How you guys can prepare yourself the best way so that you can beat the number of students who are appearing for the exam and come at the top. Slide change, please. Okay. So, there are a few tricks that you should remember. Don't read any new things at this stage of your preparation. You know why? Because it's the final stage. You don't even have one month left for your exam. So at this time, if you are deciding, no, I'll read too many things and I'll read everything and then only I can crack the ex exam, then that's not the correct way. Why? Because rather than taking too many things, you take the essential ones and brush up the things that you studied. Students, you are preparing yourself for the last two years. It's time for you to show that, yes, you are capable. So don't take any new chapters inside your brain. That's a personal suggestion. Try to reduce the unwanted anxiety, if at all you are having. Yes, you guys are feeling anxious. Yes, I'm having my medical exam. What if I don't get? What if I get tricky questions? No, stay confident because what you can, maybe someone else can't. So you have to stay positive and just have faith in your preparation. I hope as per my previous sessions, now you are following the standard books like I referred NCRT, solving the example questions. See. When everyone is referring the NCRT book, there must be something. Yes, I'm talking about that something. You are studying four to five books, but if at all, they are not worthy. I'm not saying that the books are not worthy. I'm saying the substances that you are studying, it has to be the original ones and the needed ones. So you will get those important topics from the NCRT book. So strictly follow that book. I am not asking you to read that book for 50, 100 times. No, read it as much as you can. It's up to you because it's you who is really hopeful to be a doctor. No one else. Slide change, please. See what I have mentioned in this slide. First, prioritize the chapters. This point I'll discuss nicely afterwards. Let's come to the other points first. Proper planning and time management. Proper planning and time management. What does it actually mean? See, at this stage of your preparation, you have to spend at least six hours of your day for studying. If it's biology, if you consider why biology, why this subject is so important, because there are easier questions from this part. Why? No tough mathematical calculations are here. You can actually focus on what the concept is delivering. Okay. And 90 questions are there from this part. What you have to do during the exam time, instead of getting anxious, you focus on proper planning. That means at the first hour of your exam, you are solving first the questions that already that are already known to you. After that, you think, you read. There are some questions which can be answered if read twice, thrice. Why? Because learning and reading so many times helps your skills to grow. It helps your mind to understand, yes, I read it somewhere. It may be a different they have given the questions in a different way, but it's the thing that I've read. Okay, time management, six hours, I said, six hours of strict study at this time. If biology, then please, please, 
clear the concepts, please. And one hour for MCQ solving. If you keep on studying, 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 no, that's not the correct way to crack the examination. You have to solve the questions also. Why? Because if at all you are not prepared to get tricky questions, how can you answer? You are just learning one thing. Suppose you're learning the definition of digestion. Yes, you have studied the definition so many times, you have by heart at it, but somehow you realize after getting a question from this part, oh, I haven't studied this thing. You have studied, but you just by heart at it without even getting the actual concept. So you have to solve the MCQs every day so that you are quite prepared to face the tricky questions also. Questions won't be too easy for you, but it won't be too tough too. Why? Because if you follow the previous year's questions, the patterns, the types of questions are almost of the same types. So for biology, please don't get confused. Keep on studying, keep on solving the MCQ. You won't get disappointed. Consistency. See, this is high time for you not to make any kinds of excuses. You know why? Because you have to stay focused. If you just think, no, uh, somehow I missed my preparation. Somehow I am just getting distracted. No, those kinds of things are not allowed at all. Why? You have to stay consistent. This exam is not too easy. Again, not too tough. But this exam has to be taken in a correct way. The NEAT exams, they are not like impossible ones. They are possible. But you have to follow the correct way. Stay consistent. Because of any reason, don't miss out the daily practice. Stay away from your cell phones, guys. This is high time. Next. Every hour, six to every day, six to hours study practice mcqs as much as you can follow the exemplar books not only the exemplar ones mcqs can be solved from any books i am saying that boldly not only if you are solving the ncrt ones and you're saying okay fine i know everything no you can't say that you can solve mcqs from anywhere i am giving you the best suggestion wherever you are getting questions don't ignore ignore anything why? Because there may be some important questions from any part they can ask. Okay, so if at all you're getting any question, try to answer it. Don't skip. Clear concepts. This part. See, my friend, this is the neat exams. As I may be a few years elder than you, that is why as an elder system, I'm just suggesting you guys, please don't buy hard the topics try to understand what they really want to deliver please guys without clearing the concept if you buy hard everything then medical exam is not meant for you why because the questions are minutely differing the options if you look for the options they are differing very minutely so you have to know the matters properly better concept better marks don't read anything without actually knowing it will definitely harm your preparation instead of just improving it spend time it's your time it's your success and you will be the one successful no one else so slight change please now preparation tips don't forget to practice the previous year's MCQs, okay? The previous year's question papers. At least five years. What I said, at least five years. Please thoroughly solve them because the answers keys are always available. So you, it's easy for you to access that, access it, just look for it, solve it, and try to understand the different options. That means, not only read the correct option, read the other ones also. 
so that you can understand how they are making the question tricky actually they are not they are giving you the straight question but then also you are just getting confused at the time of your exam why because you are getting confused between the options not with the question so whenever you are solving the paper try to just read all the options not the correct ones just see this is the correct one then what are the other ones go through them you can understand yes there are some tricks just lying in that portion don't waste too much time with your mobile phones see what i said just as an elder sister also i'm just giving you guys a suggestion please stay away from pubg stay away from everything every such things that is just attracting you please stay away from them why because this is the thing you are just urging for for last two years you have been work so hard you have been working so hard just to get this success this is your success please guys stay away from your mobile phones because after the completion of the year exam you'll get plenty times to spend with your phone then please just i don't want that to happen that you are regretting after that why i didn't prepare myself properly okay be obsessed be confident that this year one government seat will definitely be yours yes i'm saying this for sure feel just attracted to your books love the chapters because if you are just appearing for the exam because someone is forcing you then i won't say that you won't be successful i'm just saying that just to get the desired success no you have to love the thing stay just focused to your studies stay focused to your books you will definitely get success because you are the best think you are the best stay confident don't be overconfident but stay confident actually at the time of the exam you will realize those 3 hours are only yours you have to give your best then only the exam will give its best to you back students it's now or never keep this in mind you are the best what i said you are the best don't judge your preparation by comparing it with someone else's preparation this is a very important point actually you are preparing and then you are suddenly just observing someone else that that person is solving maybe 25 books you are feeling like oh that person will definitely crack the exam and i won't no it's not that it's about your preparation don't compare your preparation with someone else maybe you are studying the desired thing and he is not okay so stay confident with your preparation self study yes self study self notes that's the most important part what you are understanding what i said clear your concepts what you are actually understanding write that make a note of it so that you can actually say yes i know this thing during this lockdown period be the best teacher of yourself what i said no excuses guys because you are the teacher if you fail then the teacher fails not the students be a teacher be a student and consider yourself to be a best, best teacher of the best students treat this lockdown period the extended time that you got as an extra opportunity for you to be called as a doctor it means a lot okay slide change please now as previously i mentioned prioritizing the chapters i will come to the chapters later on this is the time i am just saying that study these parts important this important parts for long i am not saying skip the other parts i am saying just spend some more time over here why because more number of questions are being genuinely asked from this part plant kingdom and animal kingdom yes a bit boring part 
but not the part which is undesired. Structural organization in plants. This part, structural organization in plants and animals, these parts are like some uh, example-based parts where you have to read the examples first. After reading that examples, you will get to know that the questions are being frequently asked as they are asking for the correct match or the correct pair. Okay, then the name of the organism and the example like this. Cell and cell division. Cell and cell division part, you already know. This part is very important. I'll be discussing on each of them afterwards. Plant physiology, human physiology. Both of them are big parts, but quite important parts, as I said. Genetics and evolution. Yes, they are very important. If you follow the questions properly, you will definitely understand that most of the questions are based on these parts, the genetics parts. Reproduction. Reproduction part. This part, I won't say it's a boring part. It's like if you study, you will definitely get straightforward questions from this part. They are not just uh, giving tricky questions. Too, too much tricky questions are not being asked from these parts. As I followed. Biotech. Yes, study this part very well. Why? Because nowadays, biotechnological parts are being given more priority. This field of science, this field of biology is just improving day by day. It's evolving. So the questions can also be expected from this part. Ecology. Ecology part. This part is easy. To me, it's a, it's a very easy part. Okay, so you just spend some time over here you will understand the chapters easily. Biodiversity. Biodiversity part is a very interesting part. So as the last one, which is the molecular basis of inheritance. Slide change, please. As per the frequently asked questions, today I'll be focusing on some of the chapters of more weightage. That means chapters which are more important. Number one, genetics and evolution. I have ranked it as number one. Mark it, guys. Mark it. I'm just saying this part. It constitutes at least 17 to 19% of the paper. Yes, make sure you read this part properly with the proper points. Why? Because if you are deciding to skip this part, I am saying what I said previously, don't take any new chapters. Please, it's a suggestion. If you have skipped this part, then please don't miss it out. Read it. Only for this chapter, I'm saying this. Why? Because you are definitely getting 17 to 90% of the questions from this part. I'm talking about the biology portion among those 90 questions. Slide change, please. Now, Mendel's experiment must, must read. I have given so many exclamation marks just to make you understand this part is very important, very, very important. Read the Mendel's both F1 and F2 generation results. Read what is the genotype, the phenotypic characteristics very well. What does actually the genotype means? That means this is the external characteristics. Phenotype. Sorry, genotype means the genetic constitution. And the phenotype, which means the external characteristics. Ratio. That means, suppose you are considering the monohybrid cross, the ratio of the phenotype, it comes as 3 is to 1. And for the genotype, 1 is to 2 is to 1. Okay. And for the dihybrid one, it's like, 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 for the phenotype. And the genotype one is very big. Yes, I know it. But if I say, you'll get bored. Okay, I'm just leaving it. Now, read the monohybrid and the dihybrid cross. Read it very well. Very, very well. The law of segregation. What is exactly meant in the law of segregation? 
how the cross is being made, made by many. Okay, law of dominance. Why I'm asking you to reading the law of dominance because of this there are different phenomena like incomplete dominance, co dominance. Like incomplete dominance means instead of get there is a cross between a red and a white flower. Instead of getting any of them, you are getting a pink flower. Suppose like this, none of the characteristics are properly shown. And like co-dominance, suppose one is having two different characteristics, the other one two different. You are getting a product which is having one one characteristics of each of them. Like this. I'm just explaining in an easier way because I know you already studied this part. I'm just giving you the tricks that revise these portions multiple times. Questions are being frequently asked from these parts. There is a high chance of expecting questions from the linkage maps. Why I'm saying this? Because in the previous few years, if you follow the question papers, the linkage maps, they are asking the questions from this part like in a different way. But there are questions. So this year also, you can expect question from this part. Sex determination and the genetic disorders. Sex determination parts, that means determination of sex in suppose organism like grasshopper, I'm just saying, or any other type, read that part. The genetic disorders like hemophilia, the sex-linked disorders, thalassemia, the sickle cell anemia, the color blindness and the phenylketonuria. Why these diseases happen so? What are the characteristics of the person who is affected by this disease like that? Focus on those portions. Okay, and the chromosomal disorders. Please read that also. That means the Turner syndrome, the Klinefelter syndrome and the Down syndrome. Three of these syndromes, specifically their specific Stereotypes. That means suppose uh, 45 plus XO or suppose 47 plus XSY, like that. Read those parts. Or maybe the 21st chromosome trisomy. Try to read those portions. Okay. And for evolution, read the theories. Theories means the Lamarck's theory, the Darwin's theory. Yes. Lamarck's theory, what it actually want to convey. Anything about the usage or just no, vestigial organs or any specific kind of giraffe characteristics, Darwin's, the natural selection part, or it may be the survival of the fittest, like that. Focus on those portions. You know, but I am giving you a trick. Why? Because you, instead of studying too many things at this last portion, last stage of your preparation, read the parts which is actually needed. Okay. Now the era, like the co inanoic era, the Mesozoic era, the Paleozoic era, or the Pre-Cambrian era. The co inanoic era is a modern era. Okay. And the rest of the eras, how it has been just differentiated from one another or how they are just different as per their characteristics, you have to read that part. Okay, this is a suggestion. Slide change, please. Guys, try out these questions. Just, I'm just asking, just reading out these questions because they are very important. Suppose number one, thalassemia and sickle cell anemia are caused due to a problem in globin molecule synthesis. Globin Molecule synthesis. Select the correct statement. Both are due to a quantitative defect in the globin chain synthesis. Thalassemia is due to less synthesis of globin molecules. Sickle cell anemia is due to a quantitative problem of globin molecules. Number D, both are due to a qualitative defect in globin chain synthesis. I've read out the question. Just two minutes for you guys to think it properly. You can just write the correct option in your copy by or anywhere. Just write it down. I'm just sharing you the correct answer. And the second one, a disease caused by 
autosomal primary non disjunction is Klinefelter's syndrome, Turner's syndrome, sickle cell anemia, Down's syndrome. Slide change, please. Two minutes for thinking. Think. Any answers? You can just answer in the comment box also. Any answers? Okay, fine. I'm giving out the answer. Slide change, please. Yes. The first one answer is option B. That means it is the thalassemia, which is caused by a defect in the globin gene synthesis. And for number two, it's option D. Which one? The Down syndrome. Down syndrome is an autosomal disorder. Okay. Now, there may be question like this which I extracted from the previous year's papers. There may be some other types of questions also. I have given another example like this. Which of the following pairs is wrongly matched? What I said, guys, read the sex determination part and read the law of segregation, law of dominance from where you can actually get the ABO blood grouping theory. So that is why I said this. There are questions. You may not get the direct questions, but there may be questions like this. XO type sex determination, grasshopper. ABO, blood grouping, codominance. Start synthesis in P, multiple alleles. TH Morgan, the linkage. Other questions are there from Mendelian experiment or important parts. As I said, I have given the correct option over here. You can just note it down. Starch synthesis in P, multiple alleles, it's a wrong match. Okay, it's not the correct one. Rest of the ones are correct. Exo determination is carried out in the body of the grasshopper. ABO blood grouping stands for the co dominance because I A I O. I know you have studied that part specifically. TH Morgan associated with the concept or the theory of the linkage. Slide change, please. Human physiology. Okay, human physiology. I have marked it as number two. Why? Because it is the next chapter that you must not skip. About 16% of the people, there may be tricky questions also from this part. Read the different digestive glands, read the salivary glands, parotid, submantipular, submaxillary glands, and location of liver. Pancreas, Brunner's gland. Suppose pancreas located between U shaped duodenum. Brunner's gland. It is a submucosal glands in the duodenum. Okay? This year, you can expect question from different digestive enzymes and their effects. It may be trypsin, it may be salivary amylase, it may be pepsin, anything. Okay? So read that part very well. Slide change, please. What are the points I'm going to discuss right now? Follow at least two books for this chapter. That is NCRT plus any other books. You know why? Because if you solely focus on the NCRT book for this chapter, I'm not saying they have given insufficient information. No, not that. The correct thing is whatever they have given, it's not uh, the core ones for the core ones you have to refer to two or three books at the same time you know why because this chapter cannot be considered as a very easy one not a tough one also but you if you follow two or three books you will actually understand different points are associated with this chapter okay so you have to extract the points from different books because it's you who can feel the need of gathering the knowledge. Okay, read the questions at the exam hall as there may be minute differences between the correct option and the other ones. Yes, mark this point. Questions at the exam hall can confuse you pretty much. Read the different definitions of the respiratory volumes. That means it may be the tidal volume, 
the inspiratory reserve volume, the vital capacity, the total lung capacity, etc. Okay, for circulatory system, read the double circulation. Double circulation means how the blood enters from the superior and the inferior vena cava, how it passes and it just moves through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. The deoxygenated blood, it gets purified and through the pulmonary vein, it again enters the left, left auricle and how finally it just gets transported to the entire body via aorta. Okay, the double circulation part has to be studied. Next, the waves of ECG graph. This year, be sure you'll be getting a question from the ECG graph. Okay, from the P wave, from the QRS complex, from the T waves, try to read like how the P wave or the other waves are associated with atrial depolarization, atrial repolarization like that try to associate with themselves, okay? Now, types of the joints, whether they are immovable joints or they are movable joints or anything. Try to read that part several times. Must, must read the different hormones and their secretory glands, whether it's the adrenaline, it's secreting adrenal gland, or it may be the insulin, beta cells of islets of Langerhans, like testosterone, whether it's secreted from the lady cell, like that. Try to read the parts. It's very important. Slide change, please. Another thing you, know, you should read, I'm just, just mentioning it, the sound. That means the closure of the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve, it produces the first sound, and the closure of the semilunar valve, it produces the second sound. Okay, time for a quick revise. Another question, adult human RBCs are enucleate. Select the most appropriate explanation. They do not need to reproduce. They are somatic cells. They do not metabolize. All their internal space is available for oxygen transport. These are the four statements that are being made. Options, option A, only First one is correct. Option B. A, C, D. Three of them are correct. Option C. B, C are correct. Option D. Only the last option is correct. Think, guys. Just 10 seconds for you to think. Slight change. Correct option D. Yes, you guys are right. Questions may be based on correct sequence or order of matching of the correct column. Like, match the following hormones with the respective disease. Insulin, thyroxine, corticosteroids, and growth hormones. Here the options are Addison's disease, diabetes insipidus, acromegaly, goiter, diabetes mellitus. Yes, I've given the correct option. That means insulin, Diabetes mellitus, thyroxine, goiter, corticosteroids, they are corticoids, they are Addison's disease and growth hormone that is diabetes insipidus. Okay, slide change please. Now, reproduction. I have ranked it as mark three. This part consists about... Um, very very important concepts and it constitutes about 10 percent of the paper you can mark that okay so don't try to skip it guys it's very important double fertilization of the plants try to read out the pollination the dispersal of seeds and its germination the development of female and male gametophyte in plants more time and more stress on these portions like self and cross pollination, pollination by different pollinating agents. It may be wind, it may be water, it may be insects or anything. It may be birds and they are called with different terms like ornithophily like this. And read the two definitions of heterostyly and the hercogamy also. 
those are also important. Correct order of transport of sperm, you have to read from the animal reproduction part, different parts of the male and the female reproductive system, different events of menstrual cycle, premenstrual phase, luteal phase, menstrual phase like this, sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis, gonorrhea. Slide change, please. Now, I have mentioned because I got this question almost in every year, the correct trans transport, correct sequence of transport of the sperm in the male reproductive system. I have given the answer. Seminiferous tubule, retitestis, vasa, efferentia, to this epididymis, to this vas deferens, then to ejaculatory duct, then to urethra, finally urethral metus. Okay, mark it. Try to note it down. Very important. Slide change, please. Try this one. Capacitation occurs in either epididymis or vas deferens or in reproductive tract or it's retitestis. Yes, I have given the correct answer here. The correct answer is the option three. That means the female reproductive system. Okay, capacitation occurs in the female reproductive system. Slide change, please. Points to remember. Guys, before moving on to the next chapters, remember your hard work is the only way to your success. If you can read overnight, then read. If you are waking up early in the morning, you can you do that. Because there is one thing that is the key to success, is your madness. If you are mad, if you are crazy about something, then only you can achieve that. I personally believe it. If you work hard these days, you will definitely get your success. But few tips, guys. These are tips. These are not tricks. Sleep tight. Stay happy. Drink too much water. Stay fit. I'm saying all these because I'm a student of medicine. I have to take care of your health too because that's my profession. Eat what you love to. A stable mind makes a stronger preparation. Slide change, please. Biotechnology. I've ranked it number four because it constitutes about 9% of the paper. Recombinant DNA technology and the vector you must read, must read the plasmid vectors, the cosmid, the phage vectors, especially the PBR3221. Okay. As I said, this part is gaining too much of importance nowadays and the correct sequence of PCR. It has been asked several, several times. Steps are properly, the denaturation happens first, then the renaturation followed by the extension. Please mark it. If you solve the paper, you will get this question. Okay. Slide change, please. Cell and cell division. I have marked it number five. Six percent of the paper is with this. I have done a very deep analysis of the paper. That is why I can say these things so confidently. Okay. If you do that so, you'll also get to know that, yeah, about this percentage, I'm getting questions from this chapter or that chapter like this. Mostly, questions are asked on the correct sequence of the cell division events. Okay, suppose the G1, then the, G, the S, then the G2, and finally the M phase. Okay, read the stages of the cell cycle multiple times. Practice them hard to get a clear concept. What I said, unknowingly, if you are learning something, that's not worth it. The only thing that can give you the success is your madness, is your honesty. Stay honest to your studies, okay? Now, the meiosis one and the meiosis two, please study these parts. Stages, different stages, okay? And the characteristic of meiosis and the mitosis. Please read it. I have one question for you. Cell in G0 phase, number one, either they exit the cell cycle or they enter the cell cycle or they suspend the cell cycle or terminate the cell cycle. Correct option is they exit the cell cycle. Okay. Slide change, please. 
another one. Which of the following options give the correct sequence of events during mitosis? I have marked because the number one is the right answer. Condensation. Then nuclear membrane disassembly. Then arrangement of the chromosomes at the equator. Then the centromeric division. Ultimately segregation and telophase. That is the termination. Okay. Slide change please. See guys. Plant physiology. Number six. I am prioritizing the chapters because you are standing on the door of your success. At this time, it's not possible to read everything. Read what is useful. More focus on photosynthesis and the cellular respiration. Questions are asked from the respiratory quotient portion, the C3, C4 plants in detail. Their differences, their characteristics as well. So read it. Must. Slide change, please. Uh, molecular basis of inheritance. Oh, I have read this part so many times. Then also, why can't I remember it properly? Because you missed some points. You have to. You have to just sit with this chapter. Love this chapter. Because this chapter is very much scoring. Thoroughly read. As much you can, as much as you can. The DNA replication, the transcription, the translation. Okay. Read the following enzymes that I'm mentioning right now. The helicase enzyme, the ligase enzyme, the gyrase enzyme, DNA polymerase, the RNA primer, the Okazaki fragments, and the leading and the lagging strands. I know you read all of them, but then also I'm just mentioning. Types of operon, very common questions. Read out the gene therapy and the human genome project with minute details also. Okay, the central dogma portions, these portions attract the question paper setters very much. The genetic codes also. Now, let's try out some questions for a short revision of this chapter. Slide change, please. Match the following genes of the lac operon with their respective products. I gene, beta galactosidase, Z gene, permease, A gene, repressor, and Y gene, transacetylase. Select the correct option. The correct answer is three. That means for I gene, it's repressor. For Z genes, Z gene, it's beta galactosidase. For A gene, it is transacetylase for Y gene, it is permeus. Okay, slide change, please. This one, which of the following RNAs should be the most abundant in animal cell? Answer, whether it's the tRNA or the mRNA or the miRNA or the rRNA. I know you all know the answer very well. It's the rRNA or the ribosomal RNA. Okay, slide change, please. Now I have already marked it, the correct option. During the DNA replication, the Okazaki fragments are used to elongate what? The lagging strand away from the replication fork. The lagging strand is the discontinued one and the leading strand is the one which is continued. The fragments, the primers are continued. Okay, whereas in the lagging strand, the primers are segregated. Slide change, please. Important chapters. There are few more important chapters like ecosystem. Read the ecological pyramid. What I already mentioned, guys, I'll discuss all of them so that you can have a generalized idea. You are spending a valuable hour of yours. It has to be worthy. Okay. Read the ecological pyramid, like the pyramid of number, pyramid of biomass, pyramid of energy. There is a high chance for you to get questions from habitant, niche, population attributes also. Read the concepts of immunity, different immunoglobulins, different viral and bacterial diseases from biology and human welfare. Because the virus COVID-19, it's also a virus and it's a viral disease, the COVID-19 disease. Okay. 
mark these points, guys, and highlighting the most important parts for you only. Slide change, please. Biodiversity. This chapter carries too much importance. Why I actually don't know, the question setters have an immense interest in this part. Great, it's difficult. The genetic, the ecological, biodiversity, most Okay, the mutualism, the predation, the parasitism, the commensalism, that means the interspecific interaction. One species getting benefited, the other one may, the other one is not getting benefited or it is not harmed also. Or it may be aminalism, which is the interaction between two different species, followed by the competition. Okay, the red data book make your cell phones on in situ and ex situ conservation in situ and ex situ conservation read the different sanctuaries sacred forest why i'm saying this because we all know that many animals at this stage are endangered either they are endangered or many of them are extinct already extinct Okay, so you have to read about them also. It's so important for every biology student to actually know the importance of biodiversity. That is why the questions are being frequently asked from this part. Okay, mark and read the different hotspots also. Slide change, please. Here I have some important questions I'm discussing just for a quick revision. Which of the following, which one of the following is related to the exit? to conservation of the threatened animals and plants. What I said, these questions are very important. Biodiversity hotspot, Amazon rainforest, Himalayan region, wildlife safari park. The correct option is the wildlife safari parks. Okay, slide change please. Which ecosystem has the maximum biomass? Grassland ecosystem or it be the pond ecosystem, or it's the lake ecosystem, or the forest one. The correct option is the forest one. Slide change, please. So I discussed some of the most important chapters with you with some previous year questions. Don't panic, guys. Please, remember it. Don't panic. Slide change, please. Remember these points at the end. Follow NCRT book, previous year's paper, thoroughly. It's you who knows the value of this success. Make it worthy. Don't let yourself underestimate it, okay? You should be confident, happy with your learning. Six to eight hours study, consistent MCQ solving, consistent. Be confident. You are the best. You are a future doctor. I can make sure that. Stay focused. Stay happy and motivated as well. See, the, the Texila group, they are organizing this kind of webinars just to encourage yourself. Okay. So I hope it's much, much beneficial for you guys. It's my personal thinking. Okay. Slide change, please. Thank you. Now I'm done with my presentation. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, so I hope the students, you have enjoyed the presentation of uh, ma'am. And I personally thank ma'am for uh, providing such a good, uh, good presentation. So I would request you. you all to like, yeah, welcome. So I would request you all to put your questions forward. Any question that you have in mind or any doubts that you have, you can like simply uh, ask about the questions. So we will, ma'am will definitely answer you. Yes, one, I'm getting uh, one question. I'm just reading it out. How do I study anatomy? I always forget it. Okay, what I said, the anatomical portion parts, this is solely based on the examples. Okay, why? Because often the questions are being asked to match the correct pairs. Generally, they are asking that. So what you have to read, whenever you are studying the anatomical portion, try to just go through the examples also 
it's the structural organization parts so how the specific characteristics how suppose you are studying a specific organism mark the specific things you are reading one full page but you can't remember or can't by heart that you have to extract the portion that is actually needed that is why i'm saying prepare your self note with the important points read it try to read with examples i'm again saying example part is very very important okay suppose you are just studying the structural organi organization of earthworm or any kind of suppose you are studying the echinodermata class that means the starfish you have to just read why they are specifically called as starfish or like this okay so this is the way you can actually understand the correct method of learning another question ma'am are there possibilities of postponement <laughs> how to prepare physics okay i'm just sharing my personal opinion um physics i loved physics but uh, physics i'm not sharing the correct way because that won't be the correct thing to do whatever i know just strictly follow the sums okay the calculus portion the mathematical portions are being frequently asked instead of the conceptual ones okay yes i got a thank you yes i'm always for you okay if you have any kind of problem you can share with them you can ask for my mail id you can send me a mail i'll definitely revert you back within one day that's a just a promise <laughs> yes welcome most welcome if you have any kind of doubt any kind of tips you really want to know you can just send me a mail i'll definitely revert you back anyone else can ask me anything feel free anyone else you can ask me anything okay i got another question Uh, madam what if we study from hsc board book yes that is also good i have completed my schooling from a uh, um, west bengal board school okay i was a student of kamal convent it's okay you can follow that but it's a suggestion to go through the ncert one also because for high secondary exam if you are following the state book state board book it's it's perfect but when it comes about the uh, medical it is being conducted by the neat nta they are giving more focus or they are just more interested in the cbsc books that is why i said that follow the ncert one it's for your good you can actually read it out it's not a big issue okay someone written you are too good it will be really helpful yes sure you are too good you are better than me actually how to attempt theoretical question in physics or in chemistry theoretical questions what i can actually just give you a suggestion that uh, physics or chemistry it's more about your concept instead of just studying too much i personally just studied chemistry from my standard college in my standard school book as well as i followed the books different books follow different books for them but for biology you know there are number of straight forward questions not too tricky ones that is why i'm saying that straight forward questions no mathematical calculation 90 questions just play na it's your turn you are just like wow because there are number of people who are actually getting scared of mathematics or the sum parts here you are not having any kind of sums just rock the floor the floor is all yours any anyone else you can ask me anything actually anyone else you can ask me okay i got another question just a second how to remember inorganic chemistry okay inorganic chemistry is very interesting okay very very interesting <laughs> inorganic chemistry the p block the d block the s block everything just read it out okay can i just ask you for one thing can you please ask questions from the biology portions please <laughs> because i am a specialist of that okay i'm just giving some wild guess like suggestions to you about physics and chemistry there are a number of people who know it better than me actually you if you have questions related to biology 
I can solve your matter and I'm for sure saying that. Because I'm just giving some blind suggestions, okay? It's sounding weird. Now, anyone, any question you can ask? iPhone local or original? Okay, I got another. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you're most welcome. I would wish to meet all of you one day. As a successful doctor, you'll be just thanking me, if you wish, of course. <laughs> Let's see. Hope for the best. This year, the questions. Just... Stay focused. I have another question. How should we refresh our mind after long studies? After long studies, listen to just uh, your favorite song. And then um, just what you do, just close your eyes and just put out the lights and sit just with your fresh, calm mind without anything. After 15 minutes, try to memorize what are the things that you studied. Your preparations are ready yet. Okay. I hope you got your best answer. And eat what you like, what you love. You may like uh, chocolates or it may be ice cream. Whatever you want, you can have. Does we get picture questions in bio? Yes, we often get the picture questions in bio. Yes, there are. Suppose they are just giving a specific portion of the larynx or the pharynx from the respiratory system. And they are just giving A, B, C, D, E. Write the correct sequence of the labelings like this. You can actually have that. You don't have to do all the diagrams. Diagrams are somehow more important from the uh, structural organization or the mainly the double fertilization in plants or the fertilization processes in plants. From there, you can get the questions related to the picture or the diagram. Okay, and from heart as well, the circulatory system. Okay, anyone wish to ask me anything? Do we need to prepare beyond NCRT to some extent? Um, if you asked for my honest answer, yes. Because one person cannot um, just satisfy you in your life. Suppose you are asking me a question, you may not get satisfied with my answer. What you would you do? You would just then ask any other person. If that person confirms you, then you're like, yes, the previous person was right. Same with the books also. NCRT book, you are following. Suppose you're going with the next one. You are just observing. The two books are same. Maybe the NCRT one is con containing something more. Then always, there is, if you can explore your preparation, that's the best part actually. Okay. Um, anything else? Guys? Thank you. Yes, you're most welcome. You're thanking you for so many times. <laughs> Don't need to do that. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, thank you, ma'am. I think uh, the students have enjoyed the session. There were a lot of many questions uh, for you to answer. Yes. And, uh, this, is, this was an interactive session. So thank you for your presentation. And thanks to everybody who has participated in this in this webinar and uh, hopefully we will be conducting other webinars soon and we will let you other let others know when the next day so, okay so, thank you thank you everybody for attending thank you